Hello everyone, Mrs. Hogg here. This week we are talking about motor development. Um, watching children grow in the area of motor development is always so much fun. Um, movement is such a critical part for growth and development in young children. We need to ensure that we're doing all we can to enhance this pro progress. Movement is so critical for brain development. It is deeply linked to cognitive learning and leads to greater recall when paired with learning. Infants begin to make meaning about their bodies in relation to the world around them. Even the simplest movements involve continuous cycles of information being relayed among the brain, muscles, and surrounding environment. Infants begin experimenting very early on with their movements and how their bodies move. There are two significant patterns to motor, to motor development in infants, cephalocaudal, cephalocaudal and proximal to distal. Babies develop cephalocaudal, which means head to toe. So they begin to move their head and then work their way down to their toes. Babies also develop proximal to distal. They begin to develop in their core um, first and then move out to their arms and legs. Motor development has been broken down into scales that help determine different milestones for different ages. When looking at motor milestones, it's important to remember that these scales were developed on the premise that all babies will achieve the same motor milestones at generally the same age. And this is not necessarily true because we know that motor development is not universal. The Bailey Scales of Infant Development states that infants begin rotating from back to side between two to seven months rotating from back to stomach between four to 10 months, crawling between five to 11 months, getting into seated posture on own between six to 11 months, pulling to stand on own between five to 12 months, pulling down from standing on own between seven to 14 months, and walking without support between nine to 17 months. It's extremely important for infants to be able to move freely so they are able to experiment, try and fail, try again, and slowly but surely reach a posture of balance and grace. Some children may experience perceptual and motor challenges. An infant may be experiencing sensory processing challenges if they are either, either overwhelmed or underwhelmed by typical levels of sensory input. Babies are considered hyperactive if they are highly sensitive to sensory input. Babies are then considered hyporeactive if they have a high thr threshold for arousal and it requires a lot of sensory input to be noticed or for them to respond. An infant may be experiencing motor planning challenges if their tactile, proprioceptive, and vestibular systems are not working well. In other terms, the systems that control their senses, the awareness of their body in space, and balance may not be working together smoothly which makes simple tasks like climbing stairs or even moving in space a challenge. As we plan to support motor development, it's important to provide opportunities to enhance their motor skills in the play environment. Our play spaces should invite exploration of movement, mastering the grasp, and inviting crawling, sitting, standing, and walking. I would like to share some of the motor activities that we plan on incorporating in the classroom. For our three to six month olds, um, we would definitely wanna incorporate um, time for them to practice reaching and grasping. So during floor time, we'll surround them with different blankets and toys. Um, they either might be on their backs, on their bellies, or sitting up if they're able, um, and practice reaching out and grasping different objects. Um, 12 to 24 months, we're gonna start creating obstacle courses for them to navigate through various objects using different motor techniques. And then our 30 to 36 month olds are gonna be working on a sensory walk. So what this is, is they're gonna be different decals on the floor um, for them to um, follow directions and follow different movements, like maybe leapfrogging or jumping from lily pad to lily pad doing a bear crawl on the floor, trying to balance themselves on a straight line or a curvy line. Um, and this will give them all um, great opportunities to build their motor skills. So as always, please reach out with any questions or concerns. I'm here to support you all in any way that you need. Hope you guys have a great week.